Hey guys, Ash here from C4A Tech and in this video I'm gonna show you how to flash your Note 4 back to stock. This is applicable for all variants of the Note 4. Now say for example your Note 4 is stuck in a boot loop like mine is currently or maybe you just want to unroot your phone to receive uh, over the air updates. Uh, no matter the reason, if you want to get back to stock, this is what you'd have to do. So if you are able to boot into your phone, make sure that you back up all your apps and data because we might have to do a factory wipe in order to get things back to stock. So anyway, if you're not able to boot in, uh, you really can't do that. So if your phone is stuck in a boot loop, you can either hold the power key or just pull the battery out. Give it a couple of seconds, pop, pop it back in and hold down volume power and home at the same time and hit volume up to continue and leave the phone to be all right i'll pop the cover in again later all right so now head on over to the download section in the description link one will take you to this page download keys three from here uh install it make sure it's not running in the background we will not be using keys three but the reason we need it is for the drivers that it installs so that the pc can communicate with the uh, note 4. Link 2 will take you to this page or a different mirror. Uh, you would be able to download Odin 3 v 3.09.zip from here. And Link 3 will take you to Sam, uh, Sam Mobile, uh, the firmware page. So you would need an account to be able to log in and download firmware, but, uh, but the account is free. So just go ahead, create one and enter your model number. So mine is N910G. So here is India. You can select a different country's firmware. It doesn't matter as long as the model number matches. It's just that, say for example, if I ended up selecting the Vodafone firmware here from Australia, there might be a few different apps uh, compared to what would be available on the Indian firmware. So that's it's just basically a few preloaded apps that differ, that that differ. So you could select any of these firmwares, select the latest one if you want to, and download it. So once you've downloaded everything, these are the three files that will be available right click on this and extract and you will get a .tar.md5 file and right click on Odin extract that as well so once you've done this go ahead and connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable let it remain in the download mode just plug it in all right let me just uh, set focus okay let's jump back to the PC so right now, right click on Odin, select run as administrator. So as long as you have your driver set up correctly, this would turn blue. If this doesn't turn blue, make sure that uh, you don't have keys running in the background. If it is, exit it, close Odin, reopen it, it should get detected. If the problem still persists, uninstall keys, reboot your PC, reinstall it, reboot again, and then run Odin and it should work. So right now, make sure that nothing barring auto reboot and f dot reset timer checked and select ap now navigate to the stock rom and select the dot the dot tar dot md5 file so guys sometimes when you unzip the file we downloaded from sam mobile it might have multiple files here so instead of just a dot tar dot md5 file you might you might have three files or so so in that case the files will be clearly marked. One would say BL, one would say AP, one would say CP, and one would say CSC. So select them each by clicking on the relevant buttons. So it's basically the same. Uh, in some scenarios, uh, the firmware is also present this way. So just letting you guys know, once you select the firmware, it would take a few seconds. It would show up as not responding. Don't panic. Just give it a minute at max and uh, Odin should respond again. All right. So now go ahead, click start. So you, this is what you'd see on your phone, a little bar running over here. It'll take about five minutes for Odin to flash the stock firmware onto the Note 4. So I'll be back with you guys once it's done. And there you go guys, we are done. So uh, once you see the blue reset over here, you can go ahead, uh, close this. Your Note 4 will reboot. Uh, just disconnect the cable it's not required anymore so we are done with the PC part of the tutorial so guys also keep in mind when you flash a stock ROM you might have issues with that sensitivity uh, it, the calibration might be a little off but just bear with it once we finish setup we should be able to get rid of it 
so it would uh, generally it'll be a little higher than where it's supposed to be so just put up with it for a bit there'll be a little bit of hunting and missing but don't really worry about it we will get that resolved right now right away so once we are done with setup go ahead select the phone app and hit star hash two six I'm sorry six six three hash oops and now select TSP FW update Okay, that actually worked fine. Sorry about that. Just give it a few seconds. And now everything should work fine. Star seven, eight, nine, six. All right, and just to show you guys, let me reboot the phone. And this isn't something you'll have to do each time. So next up, head on head on to settings and uh, go to about device and uh, sorry status yeah status and wait for the device status to show up here and it says official. So there are two options here for you. It might still say modified or your phone might never have booted up you might be stuck in a boot loop if one of these two happen happens to you you need to press and hold the power key if it's in a boot loop till it turns off or pull out the battery and pop it back in or if it still says modified make sure you hit the power key turn off your device and now hold up volume power and home at the same time let the keys go once you see galaxy note 4 displayed all right so now this would take you to Android system recovery the default recovery so uh, here the volume key is double for navigation the power key for selection so over here scroll down select wipe data factory reset and delete all user data so at times despite flashing the stock firmware your phone might still be stuck in a boot loop all right now again wipe cache partition or your system status might show as modified, meaning you will not get over the air updates. So once that's also done, hit reboot. So in either of these cases, if you if you were still stuck in a boot loop and if your if your uh, system status showed as modified, this is what you'd have to do: wipe all data, and we'd be good to go. So so there you go, guys. We're up. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial on how to flash stock firmware onto your Galaxy Note 4. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.